Hey everyone, it's Lorraine from PregnancyExercise.co.nz. Hi, my name's Brett from And this is my middle daughter, and I've got her to help me today because what are we doing today, Brooke? And we are comparing breakfast cereals, aren't we, with how much sugar they've got in them. Okay, so here in New Zealand we have a star system. Okay, and this is what parents and kids tend to look for in the supermarket. So today we're going to be having a look at this cereal, which has got four stars. And we're going to have a look at the cereal, which I enjoy every morning, which has also got four stars. Now, Brooke's breakfast, what she has every morning. Brooke, what do you have in your breakfast every morning? I have um, coconut chips. Yogurt and strawberries. Okay, so in Brooke's breakfast, we use this yogurt. Now, any of these products that you see, I'm not sponsored by any of these products. We just enjoy these products, don't we, Brookie? This product, especially, and this one. Okay, because they're fantastic. So, in Brooke's breakfast, there's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of sugar in here. Okay, now what we've got to try and remember is when kids are this age, now, Brookie, how old are you? Six and three quarters. Six and three quarters, okay, so Brooke only needs about five teaspoons of sugar per day. Now you're under fives, three to four, and then as you get older, around about a teaspoon more a day up until those teens. So it's not a lot. So what we want to have a look is, this cereal's got four stars, and this one has also got how many stars, Brooke? Four stars. So you would think they would be the same in terms of nutrition, um, nutrient quality. All right, so let's have a look at them. And what we're gonna do predominantly today is to see how much sugar is in these breakfast cereals. And Brooke's gonna help me measure them. Now, there's a couple of things which annoy me about this one. Uh, first of all, it's recommended heavily by a dietitian here in New Zealand that it's a great, breakfast cereal for your kids. Second one, it's classed as Ironman food. Now, I know when I was doing half Ironmans and triathlon training, if I would have had a bowl of this in the morning, it certainly wouldn't have helped my performance. And also, let's just note here that it's also say, saying it's a good source of protein and fiber. Now, quickly, before we get into the grams and portion size, both of these products in 50 grams have the same amount of protein. And yet this one doesn't promote that it's a good source of protein, okay? So that in itself could lead you to choosing this. Right, now, typical serving size, Brookie. What we would work out is, we're gonna work out a typical serving size, which of Nutrigrain is around about a cup of cereal. Okay, so this is a half cup measure. So Brooke, if you can put in for me, a cup of, and it says the measurement um, your serving size is one cup okay and it actually works out around about 50 grams yep so measure it out for a cup so that's half pop that into your bowl oh. <laughs> yeah you certainly have more than that I think and pop another one in here do you want to hold it I'll pour it Going everywhere. Mm. Oh. Okay, so put that in. Okay. okay, so there we go. That's about a serving size. Okay, so that's around about 50 grams, which I measured before. Now, I also check serving per serving. Now, I normally would have half a cup of this. Paleo mix. I'm not chosen it because it's paleo, I've chosen it because I really like it. Okay, so Brooke, take me a measure. Half a cup. So half a cup is actually the same, about 50 grams of pouring it in. There we go. Pop that in the bowl, doesn't matter. Right, okay. So I would probably have that. Now for my breakfast, I mix it up with, I actually add some peaches to that, which would increase the sugar, but I also add quite a lot of coconut milk. And again, 
12 favourites of this yogurt, I would have like two big dessert spoons of that sugar. Okay, now here's the fun part, Brookie. So, 50 grams in here and a similar 50 grams in here. Now, this equates to, and I want to get this correct, so what we do is to find out the sugar content, we have a look at the 100 gram serve, okay, and then we're going to half it. So in 100 grams, there's 26.7 grams of sugar. Now we want to halve that, so it's about 13.3 grams, and then we need to divide it by four, okay. So that's about three and a half teaspoons. Okay, so Brookie, I want you to put in that bowl for me, three and a half teaspoons. One. Oh, fill it up. Two. That's your half one. Go and put that one in for your half. And then another one. Big one. Pull it up, pull it up. Okay, so there we go. So, three and a half teaspoons in there. Hey, okay? Mm -hmm. Now that doesn't sound like too much, but remember what we said before for your under fives, you only recommended three to four teaspoons a day. So that's no more sugar for the rest of the day. All right, and now think about that over a week. Now let's have a look what we've got in here. So remember they're both four stars. So let's have a look at this one. Now I did check all this, okay? So per 100, I'm going to divide it by two, four grams, that's easy. One teaspoon of sugar. Okay, please. <laughs> in this one. Yep. Okay. Now, Considering they're both given the same star rating, that's a pretty significant difference in just one portion size, isn't it, Brookie? So imagine this over a week, well, let's say even just five days. So we've got 15, 16, 17 and a half grams of sugar a week just in breakfast cereal, compared to five. So that's when it gets quite different, you know, adding them all up. In terms of ingredients, they're very similar. This one's got 12, this one's got 13 ingredients, and yet all the ingredients in here are natural, and you can pronounce them all as well. So it starts off almonds, sunflower seeds, coconut, pumpkin seeds, orange juice, apricots, and it'll go through. Let me just read you the first couple on here. The first one, it just says cereals. And what's the second ingredient, Brookie? The second ingredient sugar. is weight. sugar and weight. then weight. Mm -hmm. So really there's no comparison between these two breakfast cereals and they sh really shouldn't be given the same health star rating. Should they, Brookie? No, we don't think they should. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for watching. Let's hope you choose either something what my girls choose for breakfast, which is a nice natural Greek yogurt with a little bit of fruit and some coconut, or we can mix it up. The girls like eggs, don't you, in the mornings? And we do have pancakes on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay, instead of cereals, and you're not bad parents for not giving your kids cereals, okay? They, they really don't know. I mean, my girls don't choose these, do you, Brookie? No, you don't like them, do you? I like them, but she said that. Okay, so make sure you like and subscribe my channel and the Fit Mums channel. Visit my website, pregnancyexercise.co.nz for more pre and postnatal fitness and wellness information. And if you've got kids, You've got a great channel, haven't you, Brookie? The Witherington Sisters. I'll leave a link for their channel. And it's full of activities, little garden, outdoors in New Zealand, healthy food for kids. Bye. Bye. See you again soon.